Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching my channel. Um, as you saw in the still pictures, this is a wig that I reused and I'm calling the title of this video kind of um, how to reuse or recycle your old wigs because we all have older wigs. Sorry about my, my cell phone. We all have older wigs and we kind of toss them away maybe because you know um, they're not in style anymore or maybe we toss them in the wig basket um, just because there's newer technology with the lace and that was the case with this one this one is actually originally a misswigs.com um, wig and of course now that I'm trying to take everybody's calling me but this is a um, misswigs.com wig and it's one of the very first ones that I got from them to do a video review. So we know that it's at least three years old, almost four years old. But I attempted to bleach the knots and this is when I first started learning how to bleach knots. And of course, I didn't do it correctly and the hair turned orange. And um, so I just never did anything else with it. I kind of tossed it aside and never wore it again. Um, and I was going through my hair stash and found it and the hair quality um, is still good. Um, you saw in the pictures earlier where it, it was just like a, it's not a body wave, but it's a wave because it's much tighter than a body wave. And so of course I just spiral curled it to create these beautiful curls and then I spiral curled my closure. but. What I did to salvage this wig is I just cut out the bad part and I did it in a U-shaped form. And then I applied some fray block around the edges to seal um, the knots on the rest of the hair so it won't keep shedding. And now she's ready to use with a closure. And this is so simple to do. Anybody can do this. Um, and it makes perfectly good sense, especially when you have you know decent wigs lying around and you um you know haven't worn them in a while and you just want to you don't want to go out and buy some hair you just want to kind of use what you have um and they're definitely good wigs good enough that you don't want to throw them away so let me flip her over see if i can do this with one hand okay so on the inside as you can see i just did like a little U and I just cut out the bad part. We still have some lace on both the left and the right side. And then I attached a comb in the center. And this particular wig, let me adjust my focus. This particular wig, I know was, was one of the first ones because I added some tracks back here in the back. Um, I sewed my own personal tracks in to make it a little bit fuller in the back because the uh, wefts were showing. So again, I've had this wig like three plus years and she's still a decent unit, decent enough to not want to throw away. Okay. And so again, all I did was using a wand curler. I curled her up now. I did, um, I have my closure here. And of course it's a pink diamond dress virgin brazilian closure you can check that out you guys like i'm using the elastic band method on this i didn't sew this closure to the wig because i want to be able to reuse this closure with other wigs and i also sew fabric on the back of mine you can pick up fabric from a fabric store um for the elastic band method there are hundreds of videos on that so just you know search that in youtube and you'll be good to go with that and so I'm going to just, you know, apply my closure and I'm doing a side part with this one and she will be good to go. And nobody will ever know that this wig is four years old. They'll actually think that I bought a new wig or they'll, they should think it's not a wig at all. Right. And she looks really, really, really pretty in the back really pretty just luscious luscious spiral curls really pretty so i'm actually going to apply her i'm going to show you guys how i apply this baby so stay tuned now for the elephant in the room i'm pretty sure someone will post a comment on on this but 
If you notice the dark marks on my arms, I have not been burned. I am okay. I just have a very severe case of eczema and my skin allergies have been really bad this season. So if anyone has any suggestions on the holistic side, please post your comments below. I really appreciate it. Now back to the hair video, I am applying my wig and i normally apply my wig with bobby pins as well as comb so i do have um, a comb at the top as you saw in the comb in the back now i'm applying bobby pins um what you will notice though is you'll see the bobby pins make an appearance somewhere a little bit later on so make sure when you guys are using those longer bobby pins make sure that you um, attach them underneath your hair wefts because i didn't do that but i always check my hair in a mirror before I leave going out of the house so I did catch them before I went anywhere but the hair turned out really really nice again reuse and recycle your old wigs do not throw them away and thank you so much for watching